this prehistoric looking pony is Britain's oldest native pony breed. Named after the wild moorland that they call home, the Exmoor pony has remained very pure with the look and characteristics of their ancient wild pony ancestors. In the Doomsday Book, written in 1068, there are records of ponies in the royal forest of Exmoor. Before the 1850s, they were called horse beasts, as the term pony wasn't known in the area. Over the years, semi-wild herds of ponies have lived out on the moor year-round. Each fall, the owners would round up their herd and some of the foals would be sold a tradition that continues to this day. Ponies were used on the farm, in the fields, and as a means of transportation. The Exmoor Pony Society was formed in 1921, and there were about 500 ponies on Exmoor. By the end of World War II, there were only 50 ponies left. Gradually, the numbers were brought back up and the herds rebuilt. Today, there are 19 different herds on Exmoor. Most Exmoors look very similar with varying shades of brown. And they should look like they have a lamp underneath them, which is shining up on the underside of their belly and highlighting their stomach, their noses, their eyes. And I just think they look lovely. I, I love the, the light on the nose and the, you know, the mealy muzzle and the light around the eyes because it really draws you into their little faces. They're called mealy markings because they should look like they've had their nose dipped in a bag of oatmeal. Uh -huh. Height range is generally between 11.2 and 13.2. Every pony before it's entered into the stud book has to go through a physical inspection as well as pass the parentage testing so everything's has its DNA tested, and that's really vital to the integrity of the stud book. Built to survive in the wild moorlands, they have solid hooves, can eat tough plants like the gorse shrub, and they have thick eyelids that help protect their eyes from the rain. In the winter, their tail will grow short hairs at the top called a snow shoot, and the coat develops two layers of hair, one that insulates and the other helps to keep them dry. I think their, their attitude and temperament is spot on because they're, they're just so up for, for whatever you throw at them. As an adult, you can quite happily and comfortably ride them. Yeah. You don't feel like you're swamping a pony. You still get the enjoyment of being on a pony, but you've got something under you. Whether they are being ridden, driven, used for conservation grazing, or just there for a cuddle, it's easy to see how these extraordinary Exmoors can steal your heart.